<laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my first video of 2018. We're going to start this year off with a bang. I hope that you guys enjoyed my 2017 favourites. It was a hefty one. But so far I've got a lot of great feedback and I'm so 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 excited for what this new year is going to hold. I spoke very briefly in my last video about the new schedule that I was going to take. I decided I was going to release one video on a Monday and one video on a Saturday but for some reason I feel like I want to do a Tuesday and a Saturday or Tuesday and a Friday just so the gap between my videos is kind of even so there's three days kind of between each. So if you guys just let me know what you guys would prefer Tuesday and Friday, Monday and Saturday obviously it will be a bit easier. I just think the turnaround from Saturday to Monday is really really short whereas Monday to Friday you're waiting five days for videos up i digress today we are doing a review on a face mask you guys know i'm a purveyor of i don't know what purveyor means so maybe i'm not going to use that i'm an explorer of korean skincare i'm obsessed with the recent kind of korean skincare epidemic i love sheet mask treatments i do the whole 10 step routine i'm actually working on kind of finessing my whole entire routine to do a really great informational informational educational video about Korean skincare, how I use it, why I used it, how it's transformed my skin, and um, the best ingredients to look out for, that kind of thing. So that's something that I don't want to rush. I feel like that's something that I want to make sure I'm educated on because if you're teaching people about skincare and that kind of thing, you have to make sure you're getting it right because this is stuff that people are doing to their face. So you gotta make sure it's one handy, one handy, two handy. I digress yet again. Today we're gonna be reviewing this Neogen Dermalogy. Neogen Dermalogy mask. This is a white truffle hydro mask knit mask. Now when I saw this in Selfridges, I thought I have to try this. It just seems like such an interesting mask. If you guys look at the image just here, you can see it's actually a knitting mask and it's got kind of a little hole there that just shows you the texture of the product and it's actually, it's a knitted mask. I love that it comes in a box. This is kind of like more of a luxury sheet mask. I have loads of sheet masks which practically just come in like a plastic wrapping. This one is quite expensive though. It's £6.50 just for this mask alone, which is a little bit more pricey for a mask. I wanted to try it out for you guys. I really wanted to review it because I was so interested in it. So let's talk about the claims. So this claims to be a mask that provides deep, intense moisture and nutrition to skin and creates an overall brighter and more radiant look appearance of the skin the active ingredient is white truffle which reinforces skin barrier to protect and create a dewy radiant finish so this is what we're going to be testing today this is what i want to see if it performs or not the absolute moisture nourishment mask delivers the ultimate radiant energy benefits of the earth's diamond white truffle Neogen Derm Dermalogy, I don't know why I can't say that word. White Truffle Hydro Mask Knit Mask uses a thick plush knit material saturated in 60 milliliters of white truffle radiance moisture essence. The abundantly soaked essence delivers rapid skin absorption for instant skin hydration and nourishment that leaves the skin more radiant and brighter while delivering long lasting deep hydration. Okay, so after cleansing the plant toner, retrieve the mask from the packaging and unfold. So I've already cleansed and toned my face. I've got a sunscreen on, I've got something on my lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. So this is how it looks. It comes in this box and then this is what's actually inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. So make sure that the handle part is on the left side and start to pull as you tightly adhere the mask to spread flat and smooth across your face, against your face. Just before we get into this mask, I wanna show you guys what my skin it looks like now. I did like something to hydrate my skin last night. So it is overall looking quite hydrated. It is looking quite balanced. Um, if anything, the kind of thing I'd like to target with my skin is kind of some of the hyperpigmentation and just creating it more even skin tone. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of effect this mask gives me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The thing about this stuff is they're so slimy and dare I say it moist. Oh my God. I'm gonna pin my hair back because I feel like if I don't do that, it's just gonna get everywhere. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got it open. Oh my God, it's so heavy. If you guys have used sheet masks, they're not at all that heavy because most of them are made of like microfiber or you know other like different like really thin lightweight elements this is intense this is so heavy look at that what, what am i supposed to do with that am i supposed to pull it off okay it's one this is really good because that longer part at the bottom is supposed to go on your neck so it's going to give your neck hydration as well i feel like the neck is like an overlooked place so i'm quite excited about this yay oh, oh my god it smells amazing okay we got that bit on and then a bit with the neck. Who has a neck that long? Like this, <laughs> like this cannot be right. Like I'm gonna have to cut this off. I'm not sure if this bit is supposed to go over my mouth or under because it's like drooping. It's so heavy that it just keeps drooping. Okay, this is definitely really heavy and it's gonna be difficult. Okay, just for, you know, Christian life, make it a bit easier for me. I don't, 
Okay, let's get that on there. Now, it says that the wait time should be 10 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to do this right now. We're going to chill. We're going to wait and we're going to let the mask do its work. I like the fact that it's knitted. I don't know. I just think this is something that's so different about a face mask. And I feel like Korean cosmetics is so like on the cusp of what's new and what's popping. I know that it's probably really um, hard to take me seriously right now. We're going to keep this on for 10 to 20 minutes. Let's check the time. It's now 15.44 on the dot. So I'm going to wear this for let's try 20-25 minutes unless this bit really annoys me and I just want to take it off but we're gonna try it for 10-25 minutes and then let's see she's back she's alive fall from 2017 um I launched my glow kit in 2017 there's so much like moisture in this mask which I think is really good but it's literally leaking all over me and I'm wearing a vlog tracksuit so you already know how that goes it's been five minutes it feels like an eternity it's been five minutes or well, six now <laughs> this right here like no this was the worst idea. I feel like I have the saggiest, soggiest chin ever. Can't stop, won't stop, get guap. Ten white toes and them toy flip flops. I'm icy, wifey. Haters wanna fight me. Never been the one get RP up on a white tee. Keep my hands clean, got some hitters moving shicey. Ask me if I'm on them with some Gucci, bitch, I might be a scary aunt. I might link my team from barking. 7 a.m. in the morning. She's calling, I'm yawning. She's jarring, no stalling. Do the money dance. Got some money glass. Watch your man. You should watch your mouth. Bitches is press. And minutes to mouth to mouth. Face my fears. Yeah, my mama this, I've had to adjust this mask about 15 times, but thank God we've had this mask on for 21 minutes. Yes! So we're ready to take it off. I'm ready to see the results. I'm excited for this white truffle 24 karat skin that this I'm supposed to have. One amazing thing is after 20 minutes, this stuff is still soaked in product, which is amazing. But for me, they need to just look at me. I'm looking like I like, oof. So obviously this is what's left on my face. This is the essence. So I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this into my skin. I just, this is just too much. It feels like an amazing though. Like whatever essence they put in that mask is, is amazing. I cannot lie. Blend it into your double chins. What realistically what I'm gonna have to do is just take some of this off. Like, ah. Oh. Okay, realistically I can deal with that because that will just dry down. And I like my skin looking very hydrated and moisturized. So that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts. In terms of the price of the product, in terms of UK currency, it retails for £6.50, which I don't think is crazy for a mask like this. You do actually get a lot of bang for your buck. You get like, first of all, I think in a way you're kind of paying for the packaging because it could really clearly just come in this little sachet, but obviously they've added this little thing and they want to kind of play on the knitted kind of gimmick thing there in the corner. Obviously you're paying for a lot of the packaging, as I've just said, so which does build a great expectation for the mask. I would buy it again if it had a lot less essence in it because you can see i'm still looking very dewy i'm still looking very moisturized i think it's really nice but i think there's a lot of things that they could work on like i didn't get that little flap that they like added to the bottom and even still when i pulled off that little thing it was still like dripping and it doesn't really contour that well to your neck like it should be able to just lie down a bit more flat and work but overall with my face i really do like the way it looks i'm not gonna lie i feel like in terms of brightening let's see the claims again so this claims to provide deep intense moisture check which i think is definitely done and nutrition to skin i mean i can't tell if it's added nutrition because the health of my skin you'll kind of see over time and then it creates an overall brighter and more radiant looking i do think it's more brighter and radiant looking which i really do like if we compare what my skin was looking like about 20 minutes before I did this mask, it definitely does look a lot more hydrated. It definitely does look a bit more brighter for me as well. I think definitely because I have these big lights, it can sometimes be a bit harder to tell. I think when I'm reviewing the footage um, and when I'm looking back at it, I'll definitely be able to see. I'll drop something in the comments if obviously I do notice anything that is really, really out of this world crazy different. In terms of this mask, I really do like it. I was expecting it to do a tiny bit more, but I do like the overall finish of it. Positives, I would say the packaging is great. If you're a sucker for packaging like myself, you will absolutely love this. I love this whole like cardboard box thing. So I like that it kind of creates that feeling and gets you kind of excited to do some skincare. That's one of the benefits. I don't think that 650 is too crazy of a price at all. It smells really nice. It feels really nice. It's not too cold when you put it on. I thought I was going to have like that but I didn't, which was really, really amazing. Those are my positives. In terms of negatives, you guys already know, I think it could be just shaped a bit more better to fit. I've seen someone review a mask recently, which has these straps that you kind of pull. I think I actually have that mask. 
there's these masks that you can kind of pull behind your ear that would really help for someone who like wears wigs like me i mean it didn't ruin my hair too much but do you get what i mean you don't want to get it all over like your wig and stuff to be honest it's not that bad i can probably just brush it off but it does kind of get everywhere like normally when i do sheet masks i can kind of control it a bit better but one other thing that i'm definitely battling with is whether the fact that it has so much essence and so much solution in it is a positive or negative and i just i don't know which side to go to i feel like if you need intense deep hydration this will probably be amazing for you but whereas my skin is generally quite hydrated and quite nourished it is quite intense for me so for that i'm kind of 50 50 i would use it again just for the kind of sensation of it and the fact that it's kind of like a cool product i'd really have to think about it i don't know i'm 50 50 right now Come on, Vanika, be decisive, be decisive. Would I buy this again? Would I buy this again? No, I probably wouldn't buy this again. I just feel like it was just so extra. The whole thing was just flapping around. I've had better masks. In terms of the formula and what it actually does for the skin, I think it's really nice. But in terms of the actual mask and the way they've made it, I've definitely had masks that have been made a bit better and have fitted to the face better. I just think it's a bit of a hassle. For that reason, I wouldn't repurchase this item. I definitely recommend it if you do want to try something. That's just a bit fun. And like I said, if you need some deep, deep, deep hydrating your skin i definitely do recommend it for that for me it's gonna be a no it's gonna be a pass for now i feel for what it is it could be made a lot better and that's just what i'm gonna say to conclude it because i'm just i'm going around in circles i'm gonna talk myself into buying it again when i don't really want to so guys, to conclude the video, let me know what you think of the mask. Let me know if you guys have tried any Korean skincare, that kind of thing. I can also answer some questions that you guys have about Korean skincare. I'm somewhat of a novice. I know quite a lot at this point. I've been reading a lot upon it. I read a lot on the ingredients and I'm always looking at blogs and reviews and things like that. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, drop a comment down below. Let's get the conversation going as usual. Do not forget to subscribe if you've made it this far and you are not already subscribed to my channel. If you are subscribed, do not forget to click that bell notification in 2018 that's what we're doing we're clicking that bell notification we are subscribing we are commenting and we are engaging okay that's what we're doing if you don't feel threatened enough by me don't forget to connect with me on my social media channels that's instagram snapchat and twitter let's chat guys thank you so much again for watching this video hopefully i can try a few more of these kind of videos let me know what you guys think of course it's obviously about what you guys want to see from me so thank you again guys and i've said that 500 million times i hope that your 2018 is going great so far and you started it off as you plan to carry it out throughout the year that's definitely one thing that i'm trying to do thank you guys i'll see you in the next video bye bye get into this wig Ooh. bye bye <laughs> bye <laughs>